Welcome to this video on the Agent Portal website. This video will provide details on how to add team members and delegates to a team website, as well as how to add an alias URL to a team website. Upon completion of this lesson you will be able to add a team member, add a delegate, and add an alias URL. You will now watch demonstrations of how to manage a team website. Begin by logging into the edit mode of your portal team website. If needed, please review the video on logging onto your portal website's edit mode. After logging on, click the portal manager link at the top of the page. You will then have access to the portal manager page. Access the manage team website module by clicking the start updating button on the right side of that module. The page will refresh and display the Manage Team website page. To add a new member, start entering the first name of the person you want to add in the Add a Team Member field on the right side of the page. The Add Team Members field will auto-search the database to find a match to the name you are entering. Once the name appears on the drop-down menu, click that name to add that person in the Add a Team Member field. Click the Add button to the right of the Add a Team Member field to add a new member. The page will refresh, and the new team member will be displayed under the Team Member section in the middle of the page. You may change the role of the team member by clicking the drop down menu in the Role field and clicking on the New Role. New roles include Buyer and seller agent, just a buyer or a seller agent, broker's associate, and investment specialist. You can also remove, activate, and deactivate a team member on this page. If you would like to give this team member team administrator rights, click the checkbox to the right of the team member and under the team administrator column. By giving a team member team administrator rights, the team member will have the same access the team leader has to work on the team website. When a team member or delegate is granted team administrator rights, it means they have access to this module and will have the ability to add or remove team members, deactivate team members, and all other functionalities offered on this page. A team administrator will also be able to access or modify YouTube videos and account information for all team members and their delegates. Remember to click the Submit button to save any changes. You can also add a person as a delegate. Adding a delegate allows this person to work on the website using their own access code. To add a delegate click the arrow to the left of the Add a New Delegate title. The Add a New Delegate page will open. Enter the first name, last name, and email address of the person you want to make a delegate. Once the name and the email address has been entered, click the Add button. The new delegate's name and email address will appear under the Entry fields. If you would like to make this delegate the team administrator, click the checkbox under the team administrator column, and then click the submit button. To remove the delegate, click the checkbox under remove and then click the submit button. To add an alias URL, click the arrow next to the portal team website redirect or alias title to open that page. You may enter the alias URL in the redirect or alias URL field. Click the Submit button to save this entry. Also note that you can remove an existing redirect URL by selecting the Remove URL checkbox and clicking the Submit button. If the alias URL was purchased from an outside company such as GoDaddy or Network Solutions, you need to contact the company to have your team website linked to the alias URL. If you would like a long name Froster alias URL, enter the new URL name in the redirect or alias URL field. The long name Froster alias URL must end with lnf.com. 
If the Longum Foster alias URL is available, the new URL will remain in the redirector alias URL field. If the Longum Foster alias URL is already taken, you will get a message telling you to select a different URL. Longum Foster alias URLs are free and do not expire. However, you can only have one alias URL at a time linked to your team website. Once you have finished managing your team website, you can sign out of your team portal website by clicking the sign out link in the upper right hand corner of the page. This concludes this presentation on managing a team website. Additional training videos on this and other topics are on the Long and Foster Cafe. We thank you for viewing this video.